Welcome in to YSN Live. Welcome back, I should say, to Coach's Corner. I'm Jake Silak bringing you tonight's coverage of the Mineral Ridge Rams high school football team, a 7-1 team, 4-1 in the MVAC conference this season with a very key matchup coming up against the Lowville Rockets, the undefeated Lowville Rockets at that. I am joined by Ethan Pemberton. Ethan, thanks for joining me tonight. So let's go, uh, you know, you're more of an offensive player. Um, well, you do play both ways, but a lot of your splash plays are on offense. So, you know, being, and this isn't like I told you before, yeah. not a shot, being one of the shorter wide receivers in a room that consists of a six foot, six one, all that, you know, what advantages do you have against some defenses that those taller guys just might not have? I mean, they're more focused on them and that it helps me like in the middle, like getting first downs and stuff. That's the main targets. So you kind of play a slot receiver yeah, almost in a sense. Like Jets. Yeah. So I actually, I was just going to say, you know, I've seen a lot of the plays so far this season where you, you know, you're on a jet sweep or something yeah. like that. Is speed one of your, one of your weapons or is yeah, it more I, trying to get open? Yeah. I use that as my advantage and uh, route running. I like focus on that. So speaking of, you know, while we're focusing on certain things here, Welcoming in Louisville, we know everything about their quarterback. Nothing more to even be said about it. So, you know, blowing their kind of offense, because they're, you know, they're going to put up a lot of points, whether it's just whoever they play, they're going to put up points. Does that change your guys' game plan from an offensive standpoint? Or do you guys still just follow a plan, stick to it, and trust that you guys are going to go out there and do what you do? Yeah, uh, well, we, we play um, we play to win. And uh, the points don't really matter because our offense is going to execute mm -hmm. as uh, well as our defense. And if our defense holds them, the uh, points won't matter. Yeah, and you play a little bit of um, do you play a little bit of corner? Yeah. Okay. I so, and I'll ask um, the next guy we have on is Brady Ballester, and I'm going to ask him kind of the same thing, but I want definitely two vantage points from it. Um, you know what? What do you guys do as corners to stop the, you know their explosive wide receiver core that they have over there with you know guys like. Um, Banofsky averaging, I think, 98 yards a game receiving yard, which is a lot, obviously. So what do you guys do to shut them down and make and force them to kind of play a game they don't want to play? You just got to cover good. Uh, hit them when they don't want to get hit. You have to be ready for anything. Uh, they like going deep. You have to play deep. You got to jump up for the ball. And uh, if we do all that and execute it, we should be good. So the last thing I have for you, sports related, like I said, before we get to your some of your questions here, um, you know, what are some of your hobbies or interests outside of sports? Because obviously when we do this, whether it be volleyball, football or anything like that, we always talk about the sport. What are some of your hobbies outside of football? Some of my hobbies outside of football. Uh, I like to play basketball. Uh, I I play basketball with my friends or I, I, I like to run. OK, like, there you go. Speed kills, right? Yeah, speed kills. <laughs> Don't you usually like running out football, but when I got to, I got to. <laughs> it definitely helps, that's for sure. Yeah. So let's get to some of your questions here. Uh, the first one I have for you is, what is your hidden talent? Uh, I'm really good at, like, spinning pencils on my fingers. Uh, I figured that out in uh, seventh grade when I was in uh, science class. <laughs> I was really bored, and I just started <laughs> doing it, and then it just stuck with me, and now I do that all the time. That's sweet. Honestly, I ask that question a lot, and I get a lot of, ah, I don't really know. That was, like, that was really quick. Oh, here. TJ, toss it. It's not, it's no pressure now or anything. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Come on, everybody. I know we can't really see this, but there we go. Yeah. Hidden talent for the young man. <laughs> DJ, catch this. Try to. <laughs> Excellent. So, yeah, he's got eligibility still. Yeah. So what is the most addictive app on your phone? Oh, I like to play Clash Royale. I, I love Clash, Clash Royale. Royale. I got to say, I, I really, I'm a fan of it now. I've got back into it recently. Yeah, I, I took some time off, and then I was like, I got to play something on my phone. And <laughs> I, I play that at school. To at replace the pencil. Oh, uh, yeah. Absolutely. So we talked about music a lot with your guys. What is your go-to song that always puts you in a good mood? It's called uh, The Show Goes On. And I just like I like the tempo of it, and it just gets me ready to hit somebody in football. Hit <laughs> somebody, I love it. It's a good attitude to have. So we are at the post office, Bob. So if you owned a restaurant, what kind of food would you serve there? Probably Italian. Uh, I'm Italian, so I'd spaghetti. You already know. You already know. <laughs> the last thing I have for you to keep on the 
Well, this should be a good answer then for you since you're Italian, big food guy. If you were on death row, what would your last meal consist of? Oh, it would be uh, chicken, uh, spaghetti with uh, garlic bread. And that's all. I have to have the garlic bread. Got to have the garlic bread. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Thank you so much, man, for joining me this yeah. evening. And good luck Friday. <laughs>